Hey guys, it is Arika Misha uh, here to share a quick meal uh, idea guys. Uh, today I will be trying something new. Uh, today I will be cooking um, macaroni and cheese, mac and cheese, however you want to say it. Uh, but I will be using, let me show you guys. I'm going to be making macaroni and cheese muffins, cups. It's going to be something new y'all I'm trying. So. Y'all will be here to witness this. It'll be my first time trying. Just some idea I came up with. Uh, macaroni and cheese muffins. Okay, anyway, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to call them. Y'all will see the title. But let's get into this video because I've already started already. As you guys see, I've got my water boiling over there. I'll be using the Ronzoni. Let me try to pronounce this. Cavatappi. Okay, Cavatappi. That's what I'm going to go with. I didn't Google it. Y'all know I use the Google stuff. But I'm going to go with the Cavatappi. I'm guessing that's what these are. But anyway, they're like the little coal noodles. I've used these before. So, let's go ahead. Get our noodles. In our water. And this is a one pound. Um, yeah, one pound box. One pound. I think that's like 16 ounces, I think. Don't quote me on that. I ain't Google that either. So we've got our pasta dumped in. Where's my stirring spoon? Ah, there it is. I drop, I did drop a tablespoon of oil in there with my noodles, just to keep my noodles from sticking. Something that I usually do, I throw a little, a little oil in there. So we've got our noodles getting ready to get those boiled, guys. Um, today we'll be cooking uh, macaroni and cheese muffins. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call them. Sorry, y'all. Macaroni and cheese muffins. I'm going to be cooking uh, fried chicken, fried pork chop. Somebody want fried chicken. Somebody want fried pork chop. Y'all know how that goes. So, um, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to be cooking. Nice little quick dinner. Um, fried chicken, fried pork chops, and macaroni and cheese. Yeah, something cute and sweet and easy. I do have some cinnamon rolls in the oven this morning uh, for the girls for breakfast. You know, just something quick. Um, and I do have breakfast sausage in there. They want to like heat that up in the microwave, but I'm just cooking the cinnamon rolls. Um, all right, yeah, we got a lot going on. I'm washing. Y'all know how it is. We're doing 10 things at once. So, all right, y'all. Let's get into this meal. Okay, guys, we are back. I've got my pasta done. I did Google it and it was pronounced cavatappi, uh, for the noodles. Alright, so I love working with hot noodles. You guys know if you've been watching my channel, I love working with hot noodles. So my noodles are freshly drained. As you guys can see, they are smoking hot. Get my butter in here. Uh, how much butter? I say half a cup. Y'all know, we just throw stuff in. But I do like to give measurements though. Uh, actually, that's one fourth butter. About one fourth cup of butter. Alright, so I got that in there. I use my hot noodles to melt that butter. Let me see. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see. So you guys can see better. Okay. All right. So I like to uh, put the butter in the noodles while they're hot so they can go ahead and help that butter melt. Like I said, that's about one fourth cup of butter. And I just get my noodles all nice and buttery. Make sure that butter all nicely melted in there. And all my noodles are coated with that butter. You know, they get all shiny from the butter. All right. Nicely mixed up. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. All right. And then I put in about a cup of milk cup of milk now this is my quick mac and cheese this is my quick mac and cheese just showing y'all my quick mac and cheese and I'm telling you it tastes delicious most of the time when we have family get-togethers uh, I do the quick mac and cheese because I usually make a couple pans so but yeah this is my quick and mac quick mac and cheese but it tastes delicious 
it's funny because I usually make the quick mac and cheese the most. All right, so we got that cup of milk in there. That milk kind of cools things down for me. I don't want to put my eggs in yet because you guys know what will happen if I put these eggs in. Uh, now why everything's still a little hot. So I'm trying to get that milk tossed around, you know, just to kind of cool the pasta off. All right, now I'm going to sprinkle in now while that milk and butter is in there. Sprinkling in about a tablespoon of salt. Not too much, just a tablespoon to bring everything together. So... All right, good, 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 looks good. Now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna dump one of my cheese in. I'm sorry, forgot to tell y'all, I'm using the Sargento mild cheddar cheese. This is the eight ounce bag. I have four of these, four. So, got my cheese in there. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? I tell you, hold on. Okay, it's hard, cause I be moving around. All right, so, okay, get that cheese mixed in there. Just throw one bag in there. Now, this cold cheese is also cooling it down. So now it's safe to get my eggs in there. Today, I have three large eggs. We all know the eggs is what holds it, everything together. So I'm doing three large eggs today. Where is my towel to wipe my hands? Wipe these eggs off. Okay. All right, so we got three eggs in there. Let's get them all mixed up. I mean, especially with me making, with me making mac and cheese muffins, definitely gonna need those eggs to hold everything together. All right, so get those eggs mixed in really good. And I love this bowl. I always use this bowl. So if you guys have seen me watching, I mean, make my mac and cheese, I always use this bowl. Like a nice big bowl to mix everything up, you know? All right, so now we've got the base of our macaroni and cheese made. All right, those eggs are mixed in really good as you guys can see. All right, so now let's pour all of our cheese in here. We're gonna throw the other three bags in here. I usually leave a bag uh, so that I can um, put it across the top, but we're making muffins, so. I guess I could kind of sprinkle some across the top of the muffins. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Like I said, this is my first time making the mac and cheese muffins really know how it's gonna come out but I'm sure they'll come out just the way I want them and I'll have to cook these muffin in batches because I'm not gonna be able to make all of the muffins at once so I'll probably I'll do a batch and then I'll do another batch until we got all our mac and cheese cooked up mac and cheese muffins what do you think about that? Now me adding that cheese, of course, you know, it dries it up a little bit. So I'm gonna throw another uh, cup of milk in here. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do half a cup first and see how that looks. Let's do half a cup. I might only just need half a cup. I don't want to make it too milky, especially with us making muffins. That looks delicious. Make sure you guys can see my bowl keeps sliding. Make sure that cheese is mixed up really well. This is my quick mac and cheese, guys. That's it. You can add whatever seasons you want. That, that's up to you. Add whatever seasons you want. Um, but this is my quick mac and cheese right here. Uh, and my quick mac and cheese, I don't do the paprika. I don't add any seasons. All I add is a little salt, one tablespoon of salt. Just to 
bring all our flavors together. All right, y'all. Let me see if it's looking cheesy enough. Um, yeah, it's looking cheesy enough. It is looking cheesy enough. Yep, that's good enough. We don't want to do too much. All right, because like I said, we're making mac and cheese muffins. Okay, all right, so let's move all this stuff out the way. Y'all give me a minute, let me get my muffin pan over here. I've got my oven. I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. I usually cook my mac and cheese at 350, but because we're doing the muffins, I'm doing a little bit higher heat. Um, I do have my Gotham pan. Gotham, if you guys don't know about Gotham, Gotham gets hot really fast. Gotham uh, cookware gets hot really fast. So I wanted to use, bring you guys down, I wanted to use the uh, Gotham muffin pan. Let me bring you guys out a bit. Hold on guys, let me bring you out. Okay, yes. I wanted to use this Goth Gotham pan because the uh, Gotham pan gets really hot. So I wanted to make sure I use something that would get, you know, really, really hot. All right, because it's important. Uh, let me show you guys. Hold on. All right. Now, let me show you guys. My muffin pan, I sprayed it really well inside. Let me show you guys. I sprayed it really well inside, uh, especially along the sides of the pan. I used my Publix canola spray. Y'all know I love this spray. Um, I use that. This is important. You have to, um, you definitely have to uh, make sure your pan is sprayed really good because this is what's going to make your mac and cheese uh, muffins. And you spray the sides real good so that when it cooks, it gives that, that outside of your mac and cheese cup, you know, it seals it so your mac and cheese isn't falling apart. So that's another reason why I went with that extra egg to help hold it together. I'm telling you guys, I'm just, all of this, I thought of it, so that's why I'm being very particular because we don't want our muffins to just fall apart when we take them out of the, the, uh, the tin here, you know, and they just fall apart like regular mac and cheese. So that's why you have to spray your pan really good, make sure you get a hot pan, and you guys will see it's going to seal that outside of the mac and cheese so when I take it out, it'll come out like a nice muffin. All right, so we got our mac and cheese mixed real good. I do, I am gonna be using my ice cream scooper, guys, just to scoop this out and get it in our pan. You guys see how I'm doing this? I am going to be stuffing these. I'm gonna be stuffing it. As y'all know, I'm not doing no little, nothing little over here. So, gonna make sure Make sure it's all nice and stuffed. And like I said, we spray those sides real good so that everything holds itself together. Really hoping and praying this comes out really good. <laughs> I probably should have uh, tested these before I started filming, but you know what, whatever. You live and you learn, so. I'm sure these will come out right. I don't see why they wouldn't. Just gonna fill these up, guys. I just thought about it. I was like, Wonder what'll happen if I do mac and cheese muffins. Like, I wonder, will that work? That's what I was telling myself. I said, well, all you can do is try. That's all I can do. And I didn't want to use the, um, I didn't want to use the regular elbow noodles for this recipe. I wanted to use these coil noodles, um, you know, just so it can kind of have that muffin look across the top, you know? So that's why I went with these noodles. 
I figured it would look. Give me that muffin top look that I want with the coral noodles. Alright, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me do all of these. But I do want to show you guys. I'm going to do... Um, this part is important too. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. Now, my last bag of cheese. Remember, I'm using the Sargento mild cheddar. Use whatever cheese you want. I am going to be putting cheese across the top. I think that's important with helping it stay together as well, you know, especially across that top. So I'm going to put cheese across the top like that and, you know, kind of push it down. That's what I'm going to be doing, guys. You'll see. You know, still give me that whole mac and cheese look across the top. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish these. I'm going to get them in the oven. Um, I'm going to get them in the oven, 375 degrees. Um, I'm going to cook them. I'm going to say about, I don't know, I'm going to say 30 minutes. I'm going to see. I'm going to do 30 minutes and I'll check on them and see if they need any more time. But I am going to check on them after like 10 minutes just to see what they're doing. Because they're muffin style. So I don't know if they're going to need 30 minutes like my regular mac and cheese, y'all. Y'all know. I will let y'all know. It's going to be like a touch and go kind of thing. So, all right. Let me go ahead and get these finished, guys. And I'll be back to move on to what we're doing next. Okay, guys. I just pulled our macaroni and cheese muffins out of the oven. I had to come show y'all. They are still piping hot. Just pulled them fresh out of the oven. Let me make sure my lighting is right. I'm telling you, this lighting sometimes. Okay. All right, let me show you guys. The macaroni and cheese muffin. They came out pretty good, guys. They look delicious. They look so good. Let me zoom y'all in. They look so good guys and I like check the side of them and they're gonna come out perfect I'm gonna make sure I let them cool off I don't want to take them out now you don't know how that is they still a little loose so I'm gonna let them cool off really good so they can go ahead and take that shape and hold that shape and when I took them out they were like it was bubbling around the edges so that's how you know the edge is all nice and sealed so yeah that's our macaroni and cheese cups muffins muffins y'all okay whatever all right so let's move on to the fried chicken and the fried pork chops okay guys i just dropped the chicken and the pork chop and of course as you guys can see i forgot to cut on the camera but the chicken is frying and the pork chop Look my pork chop here. I didn't even show y'all my pork chop. Didn't show you my chicken. But as y'all can see, we've got the chicken here. I'm frying my chicken in this pot. And I'm doing the pork chop back there in my flatter kind of pot. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Pam, uh, I am using all my Gotham cookware today, guys. Gotham just gets it done. You know, Gotham heats up real good. I mean, you would think this video was sponsored by Gotham. Anyway, it's not. FYI. But I just love the Gotham cookware. Gets nice and hot for you. Gets the job done and moves on. So, um, yeah. Got all my Gotham cookware out today. You guys saw my muffin pan over there for the mac and cheese. That is Gotham. Um, it's like a whole set. I'll try to remember to leave it linked below, guys. I will try. But, yeah. So I got my fried chicken going here, looking good, smelling good, my pork chop over here. And let me show you guys over here what I am doing. Uh, I've got the chicken, looks a little weird, that's because I already floured it um, in the pork chop. I already floured everything real good over here in my big bowl. So that's what we're doing guys, we are frying it up. See if I can give y'all a good angle. Those pork chops ain't playing over there, they are cooking. Pork chops are cooking fast. Alright, so we'll let those pork chops cook up. 
see what this chicken doing. Let's get this chicken rotated. And this time I didn't separate the drums from the wings. I just kept it like it is. Just drop them in the oil. Sometimes I do that. I love that old school. Because back in the day when my mom fried chicken, she did not separate the wing from the drum. And not, not my mom just dropped it in the oil and cooked it. So that's what I'm used to. But sometimes I do like to separate the drum from the flat. You know, sometimes I do. But today we doing it full old school. Yes. Just dropping the chicken in the oil. Um, and I'm using, today I'm using the, um, y'all know I use that sometimes, Crisco canola oil. Yes, that's what I'm using today. Um, most of the time I do use the vegetable oil because I've convinced myself vegetable oil is healthier kind of oil. So, you know, vegetable. Y'all know what I mean. But yeah, so everything's cooking up, guys. I will be back to show you guys me pulling the chicken and the pork chops out. Those pork chops look done back there. Hold on, let me see. Cause they cook fast. I mean, they're thinner, so let me flip them again. Y'all see that pork chop is cooking up so good. I could only fit two in my pan. That's how big these pork chops are. Look at that, nice and brown, cooking up. All right, and I like to put light flour. I don't over flour my chicken. Cause all that flour gets in your oil and just ugh, messes your oil all up. So I like to do a little light flour on the outside to give me a light crunch on the outside of my uh, chicken and my pork chops. So yeah, fried chicken, uh, fried pork chops, and macaroni and cheese. Oh, I gotta go over and show you guys the macaroni and cheese cups. Let's go over there. So y'all see one missing, right? Yep, me and my daughter ate it. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, I just went ahead and I panned up the rest of that mac and cheese because while these were in the oven cooking, that cheese was just melting really bad and I was like, you know what? I, I gotta just pan it up. It, it was not waiting. If I would've had a second muffin pan, then I would've been able to just do two batches, but that cheese was really melting in the bowl real bad, so I was like, ah, let me go ahead and pan it up, so. But that, that doesn't matter. We still did the uh, mac and cheese muffins. So let me show you guys how easy they come out. I just do a little twist, show you guys how the mac and cheese cups, look at that, look at that goodness, look at that, I'm so happy, this is my first time doing it and they turned out so good, little mac and cheese muffins, and it tastes so good y'all, they taste so good, but yeah, they turned out good guys, I'm so happy because I wasn't sure if they were going to hold that shape. But they did, y'all. So they turned out really, really well. Uh, looks like our pork chops are ready to come out. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna check on those. Chicken still frying, of course. I'm gonna flip these pork chops one more time. One more time. But they look good, as you guys can see. Don't they look good? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I can bring it in for y'all. Now be careful. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Oh yeah. That is some goodness. Y'all know I gotta wipe my stove a million times. But yeah. Pork chops is like they about ready to come out. I flipped them a couple times. I like flipping the pork chops. That way they, I know they're done all the way through. Let them get a nice brown color. So yeah, these pork chops are done. Don't take long for those pork chops. Let's go ahead and I'll give it another minute. I like to poke it a little bit, you know, kind of push it around. I think it's ready to come out. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to do too much, girl. Don't do too much. <laughs> yeah, that's ready to come out. Those pork chops got done really fast, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, 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 mm. 
delish. Delish. All right, so we got that first set of pork chops done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more pork chops done and I'll be back, guys. You know what? Actually, I'll be back for the grand finale, guys. Grand finale, to show you guys everything. I think I might come back and show you guys those chicken wings coming out. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so our chicken is ready to come out. Pork chop is cooking so fast, I can't keep up with it. But, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give that pork chop another minute while I get the chicken out. Give you guys a close up look on that chicken. It is done. It is done and delicious. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Oh, bringing it in for you guys to see the goodness. And I did use a little mustard when I seasoned my chicken, guys. Oh, so good. So good. Get my chicken out, my chicken wings out. I don't want to burn them. Get them out. They are cooked perfectly. Nice. I'll tell you that dryer. Alright, anyway. Shaking them off. Oh, they look so good. So, so good. Okay. Alright, let's get these pork chops out. I'll give them another minute. Let me go ahead and get another batch of chicken dropped while my oil is nice and hot and waiting on something to cook. One thing I don't do, I don't overcrowd my pot. Whatever I'm cooking in, I don't overcrowd it. I don't do too much. But, you know, that's another way of getting all that flour in there. You get this stove cleaned up. Alright, we got that next batch of chicken in there. Okay. Let's get everybody situated in there. And I'm going to go ahead and get those pork chops pulled out. Okay, looking good. And I'm cooking on a low, medium heat. I don't um, fry everything at a high heat because I found out when you do that, it cooks the chicken too fast and the inside barely gets done. So, I cook on a low, because I cook on a low heat, low medium heat. And I just let the um, meat take its time and get done, you know? Let me show you guys what we are working with over here. Mm, 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 mm. Looks delicious. I gotta show y'all. So, uh, I've got one more batch of chicken to cook. Show you guys the goodness over here. Mm mm mm. The goodness. Our chicken. You can put whatever you want on the chicken buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce. I've got all kinds of sauces the girls can use. And our pork chops look amazing. We zoom y'all in. Give y'all a good look at that pork chop. Mm, it's hot. I don't even know why. I'm trying to touch it. it. Looks delicious. Look at that pork chop. Looks delicious. Looks yummy. We got mac and cheese. Oh my god. All right, y'all. Okay, so when I come back, it's gonna be the grand finale because I'm ready to eat. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here is the grand finale. Minus, uh, yeah, anyway, y'all, I ate it. Yes, it was good. It was delicious. And oh my goodness, I'm so happy and excited that the um, macaroni and cheese muffins turned out perfect. Let me show y'all again. I'm so excited. I have to show y'all again. So, you just lift it right on out. Look at that. 
perfect little mac and cheese muffin. Isn't it so cute? Perfect little mac and cheese muffin. Perfect. Uh oh, lost some. But anyway, perfect. And see how the edges are sealed so it doesn't fall apart, guys? I'm so proud of my mac and cheese muffins. They turned out perfect and they look like little muffins, you know? All right, guys, I'm so excited. Let me take you guys over to the chicken, the fried chicken and pork chops. Looking delish in my pan of mac and cheese back there with the leftover mac and cheese. Um, yeah. Looks delicious. My hands are a little sticky from that mac and cheese I just picked up. Oh my goodness. Okay, hands are clean again. All right, zoom y'all in on that fried chicken. Old school fried chicken right there. Oh yeah, fried just right. Yes, I had one, yes, I had one, yes, yes. That's how I know it tastes good. And the pork chop back there, yes, I had a piece. Somebody missing a piece, but whatever. Yeah, y'all, it's my food. I can do what I want to with it. It's your food, you can do what you want to with it. So, all right guys, that's it, that's all. You've seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to go in the description box, click on that link to my second channel over there is my spiritual journey channel uh it is called erika misha spiritual journey over there i talk about my life living for christ things that god gives me to share with everybody so if you guys are interested in that uh and the link the link in the description box will take you straight over to my second channel guys thank you so much for your love and support god bless bye